there are so many people that loved her and all of those people are just as overwhelmed as the rest of us and so while my heart is breaking my heart hurts for all of them as well tonight we are hearing from the family of a hoosier teenager killed this weekend on her way to prom and take a look this picture shows just how happy Kaylin hart was last night this was taken right before she and her date were involved in a deadly crash. Our Lauren Costick tonight shares how the teens families and two different schools are now in mourning on what should have been one of the happiest weekends of the year. Lyndon Byram and Kaylin Hart were two kids going to prom. I just remember telling her to have a fun night at prom and that was the last time I talked to her. Lyndon and Kaylin, along with two friends, were in a car accident Saturday night after being T-boned by an SUV. They were on their way to see Kaylin's mom, who was working on graduation invites. And her dad called and <laughs> broke the news that Kaylin had passed away. Sunday night, friends, family, and neighbors came to pray and comfort each other in downtown Cicero, not far from Hamilton Heights High School, where Kaylin was a senior. God is love an ever abiding love. An earlier Cathedral High School also held a memorial for Lyndon, who was a junior there. Our speech and debate team is, they're just broken without him. He was such a force, um, not only did well, but was a mentor to our younger students. And so his family was so proud of him and his coach that he had just qualified for nationals. Lyndon and Kaylin had been dating since the beginning of this year. I really felt like he was probably one of the best things that ever happened to Kaylin for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we will miss him at our house. We will miss him. And Kaylin was set to go to college and become a teacher. Her older sister Bailey saying she knew how to make everyone smile. She was amazing. She was a great person. She just loved everything. Happy spirit. I mean, she would never be sad. I mean, she was just amazing. An unthinkable and heartbreaking tragedy of two lives taken too young. Tell everybody that you love them every chance you get. Don't don't take tomorrow for granted because it's not promised. And this is this is proving that fact. And our thoughts are certainly with their family. I want to let you know that Kaylin's mom says there are two fundraisers to help with their funeral expenses. If you'd like to contribute, we do have a link tonight on our website, WTHR.com. And we should also mention there were two other friends in the car last night. The organizer of tonight's vigil tells us those teens are out of the hospital and they are doing okay. Now we don't know the name of the person who was driving the other car or if they'll face any charges. However, police do not believe that alcohol or drugs were involved in that crash. Hamilton Heights does plan to return to regular class schedules tomorrow. They will have extra staff to help students who are grieving, and Cathedral also plans to have counselors available tomorrow as well.